revelation, something unknown, a mystery that was hidden, that is made known, a secret revealed, a prophetic word, revelation of God's holy word. Hello everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Revelations. And uh, stay with us for a little while. Uh -huh. And we have a new message. Um, when I was in church on Sunday, God gave me a revelation. And uh, I was uh, uh, praying with God. And he gave me a revelation about the kingdom suffers violence. And uh, it's kind of a curious scripture really and uh, I mean what what does it really mean the kingdom suffers violence is is it an army are people trying to battle with God uh, what's going on here so we're gonna uncover and uh, give the revelation on this scripture which is a really powerful tool for saints and i know you'll be blessed from the message okay so let's go into it right away and we're going to go into uh matthew 11 1 through 14 and it came to pass when jesus had made an end commanding his 12 disciples he departed thence to teach them and preach in their cities now when John had heard in prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples, okay, and said to them, okay, so so John got uh, captured. He... Uh, They've been prison. Well, Herod, he was having some issues with Herod. And his wife. I yeah, mean. his wife was really upset with Herod because of what he said. And Herod... Uh, John basically said the truth. Yeah, he's not really... He's sleeping that, with his... Uh, that's not really his wife. His the brother's wife. wife. Yeah. So that's really horrible. So John was saying that it's not right, you shouldn't do that, and that's what prophets do. Um, they say things, they say the truth, and uh, so, so he was in prison for that. Now he's thinking about Jesus and he's wondering, are you the one? Okay, now when Jesus heard, heard in prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and he said unto him, are thou he that should come? And what does that mean? Well, is Jesus the Messiah? Because there were, there were many people, um, uh, what was it? In the temple, there was, uh, was it Zechariah? Yeah. Okay. He was an old man, and he had been waiting for the Messiah all of his life. Yeah, and then Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to be... Um, a circumcised? Dedicate, dedicate, I think, dedication. Was it circumcised or... Dedication, I think. Yeah, yeah, they were dedicating him to God. And he heard the baby cry. Yeah. And he said, I yes. hear... I see the Lord. I see the Lord. Yeah. Or, so he went over there and uh, he interacted with the uh, Messiah. Now there, there were many people throughout the, the Bible that that were in Jesus's time that were waiting on the Messiah. They had some kind of um, word that the Messiah was the the three kings. Yeah. Okay. So they they followed the star, and they gave gifts to Jesus, but there were many people that were waiting on the Messiah because they knew they didn't know the exact day, but they knew the season. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so he sent two of his disciples, and uh, said unto him, Okay. Are you, are you the Messiah, or do we look for another? And Jesus answered and said, And go and show John again those things which you do hear and see. So when the disciples of John got to Jesus, they saw what Jesus was doing, and they heard what he was speaking. Okay, 
The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended at me. Because there is a lot of Pharisees that were offended. Okay, there were a lot of people that were getting offended. A lot of people, not everyone who went out to see Jesus became believers. Yeah. Some people were just going out because it was like a, you know, it was a multitude of people. And in a multitude, in a crowd of people, you're always going to have people that yeah, are different their motives. They might be mockers. They yeah. might be scoffers. They might have different motives. So some of them were offended at God. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, they would come out and, you know, a lot of them rejected Christ. Okay. And as they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitudes concerning John, What went you out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But went you went out for to see a man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft raiment are in king's houses. But what you went out to see? A prophet. Yes. So... People, a lot of people went out to see the prophet John. Mm -hmm. Yes, I say unto you more than a prophet, for this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily, I say unto you, among that them that are born of women, there hath not risen greater than John. Mm -hmm. So in this world... There's not one greater than John that would born by a woman. That's what Jesus is saying. Yeah. Okay. But he that is least in the kingdom of heaven, and this is a key to us, is greater than he. Now, what does that mean? That means uh, John was the greatest born of woman, right? He was a great prophet, a great man of God. Okay. And there was no greater than he. But when, when you understand the keys of the kingdom of heaven, you can be greater than John. Okay? So, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent taketh by force. For all of the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was a four to come. So mm. my, what I'm saying today now is that Jesus in these verses is giving us a key that you can become greater than John in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, where's the kingdom of heaven? The kingdom of heaven is within you. Okay, all of God's promises, everything that, that we go to God... And he has all these promises for us, okay? The way to get that released is, and the other key is that heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force, okay? That's another key. That key is that you, you go to God, and you don't go away until you get what you come for. Okay, what does it say? Ask, and you shall receive it. Knock, and the door shall be open. Okay? So, let's go to... Uh, okay, so, how to receive your miracle. Do you understand the meaning, the violent taketh by force? It's an action. It's a word of action. Okay? So, so... Remember all the times people are uh, healed in the Bible. Blind, uh, blind Bartimaeus, when he's crying out, they told him to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, and what did he do? Did he just shut up? Did he say, no, I'm just going to be quiet. They told me to be quiet. No, he got louder. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he got louder, meaning... He did not stop. He's... He knows his promise, his miracle is right there. 
and Jesus is passing by and he's not going to let go of it, meaning he's going to take it by force. He's going to, the violent, take it by force, meaning God has a miracle for you. Are you going to take a hold of it mm -hmm. and receive it? Okay, that means you, you have to, there's a, there's a faith action involved, meaning you can't just sit in a corner and say nothing and do nothing and receive your miracle. It's not going to work that way. This is the key that God is giving you. If you want to be greater than John in the kingdom of heaven, that means that you're going to, you're going to use action. You're going to use force because every, all of the promises are already finished. And all you have to do to receive it is go in and grab it. Go in and take it. And that's exactly what Bl Bar blind Bartimaeus did. He, he yelled even louder. Okay. And uh, let's go into... Uh, okay, so let's go to Matthew 5, 6. Matthew 5, 6. Okay, in Matthew 5, 6, it says, Blessed are those which hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be fulfilled. Okay? And what, is, what does God tell us? God tells us to seek his kingdom first and his righteousness, and all these things will be added. Mm -hmm. What are all these things? First, we seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. And then everything we need is added to us. What are all these things? That's everything. You need food. You need drink. You need uh, finances. You need healing in your body. Mm -hmm. You need God to give you revelation to preach. Whatever you need. If you're going through some kind of uh, struggle, God will help you out of it. Whatever you need, if you need spiritual fruit, okay? If you need joy, okay? If you need love, whatever you need, God, God will give you. And God has it, but you have to go and get it. It's in the kingdom. You have to seek the kingdom first. You can't just sit there and receive it. It's, it's, uh, it's activated by action. Action. Okay? And faith. So faith. Faith that it's there. Faith that the Messiah is passing by and you can cry out to him and he'll hear you and you can receive your miracle. Okay? Let me take another example. The other example I'll give is... Let me see. Uh... Let's go to Genesis 32. Okay. All right. Genesis 32. Genesis 32 and 24. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled with a man with him until the breaking of day. And we, when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched, when he saw that he pre, prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, and he wrestled with him, mm -hmm. as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, yeah. except thou bless me. Mm. Okay? So, what's going on here? He's being violent. Yeah. Is is this an angel, hun? Angel. I think so. <laughs> he's, he's wrestling with an angel of God. Yeah. Okay, now, what kind of... So, you're saying I have to wrestle with... An angel? I, I, I'm telling you. It's not giving up. You got to fight. Okay. 
let's go to Hebrews because I'll, I'll, I'll explain this. Okay, so did, was Jacob blessed in that? After that. Oh yeah, he was he was, was changed. he was changed. He actually his name was changed, and that's what I'm telling. God wants to bring you to a different level. Peter's name was changed. Yeah. Okay, that's that's another thing God does when he he's trying to see will you fight for the kingdom? What does that mean? Okay, all of us are kind of bound to a system. What's what system? This world system. This world system is all, you know, most of us have ever known. You know, you, you go to a job, you get a paycheck, um, they take taxes out, okay, maybe you get medical benefits, whatever, you pay your bills and that's how you live your life. Okay, and that's the normal world system, right? And if you have lots of money, oh, they really like you, they really like lots of taxes. But anyways, what is God's system? God's system is not of the, this world. God, God has all the gold, all the silver, all the healing. Mm -hmm. he, he's got all the finances. He's got all the miracles. He's got all the blessings. He's got everything. He's got all the cattle on the hill. That's all his. But how do you, how do you receive? See, we're, if we're really joint heirs, we got to believe that we got to believe that we are joint heirs and that that everything that abraham had is ours everything that jacob had is ours we are joint heirs with christ meaning that we are uh sons and daughters of the most high we're children of god okay so let's go to uh hebrews 4 8 And this will, this is in the New Testament, so we want to um, show it everywhere. Okay, let's go. Let us therefore fear, lest promised being left us entertain, entering into his rest, if any of you should seem come short of it. For unto us, as the gospel preached as well, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So when the word of God is spoken, you have to believe it. You have to absolutely believe it. You have to mix it with faith or else it's not going to profit you. For we which have believed do enter into rest as he said, as we have sworn, sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works are finished from the <clears throat> foundation of the world. See, the, the works are finished. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, what God worked seven days and then he rested on the seventh day, didn't he? Yeah. What did Christ do? Christ did everything on the cross. He went down to hell. He got the keys of hell and death. Okay. He, he's sitting on the throne now. He doesn't have to fight for anything anymore. He doesn't, he doesn't, it's finished. All of his promises are already finished. That means that we can access that at any time we want. Okay. But only for people who know how to rest in Christ. Okay. When you're in the flesh, you're not resting. Okay. And in this place again, they shall enter into my rest. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein. They whom it was first preached entered not because of unbelief. Unbelief is a killer of your future. Unbelief is a killer of faith. Unbelief is a killer of God's promises. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unbelief actually the the number one thing that will take people to hell is unbelief okay they did not believe in jesus okay they did yes. not believe in yeah. jesus words unbelief is like a cancer and and believers you don't want to be in unbelief we we want to we want to read god's word and say i'm going to go for it <laughs> <laughs> Receive your healing. I hope so. 
Yeah, you can't say I hope so. <laughs> when 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 God comes and and you are so. you you are praying for healing, you say I receive it. I receive it. I have it. God is healing me. God is blessing me. It's God. I, I'm being bold in Christ. I'm I'm humble before God because it's all Him. It's not me. I can't do anything without Christ. But when when God steps in the room, He gives me everything I need. Okay. Yes. He Amen. He gives me boldness. He gives me the knowledge of the word, the revelation of the word. I can enter in quickly. Okay, and we're going to see this in a minute. And again, he limit a certain day saying, David, today, after so long a time, it is said, today you will hear his voice. Harden not your hearts. For if Jesus had given them rest, they would, he would not afterward have spoken another day. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works. Mm -hmm. yeah. As God did from his. Okay, we, we, the reason we get so frustrated is, oh, I, I, I've been working so hard. I've been trying to make this work and it just nothing I can do to make it work. Well, you know why it doesn't work? Because it's probably not God's will for you. If you're not in God's will, if you're not resting in God's will and resting in the Spirit, it's probably not what God has for you. Okay? Let us labor, therefore, and enter into the rest. You know what that means? Let us quickly enter into the rest of God. Quickly. Why? Because God doesn't want us to be in the flesh. He doesn't want us to be, un when we're in the flesh, we're in unbelief. And we say all this garbage. All this garbage comes out of our mouth. And that's what we get. Okay? He wants us to enter into his rest and receive. We have to believe against what we see with our own eyes and hear with our own ears sometimes. Okay? Okay? Okay, so let us labor, therefore, and enter into the rest, lest any men fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing e even dividing the asunder of the soul and spirit in the joints of the marrow, and is a discerner of thoughts, intents of the heart. So God knows what's in our hearts, okay? We, we can't... We can't. We can't fool God. We 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 can't. He knows if you're if you're real in your heart, okay? Okay. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. That means he sees everything. He sees every living being, every heart of every person. Amen. But all things are naked and open to the eyes of him who hath to do, seeing that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, so let us hold fast on our profession. For if we have not a high priest which can be touched, we have not a high priest that which can not be touched with the filling of our infirmities, meaning Jesus has compassion. He knows that we have infirmities. He knows that we're weak. He knows that we, we, we stub our toes. He knows that we fall down on the ground sometimes. We fall into the ditch. He has compassion and he's going to put his hand down and he's going to lift you up. He knows what, what the enemy wants to do. This is the enemy's job is to keep you in a mindset of condemnation that nothing's going to work out that everything is going to go sour, everything is going to be ruined, everything's going to be bad. But God says yes and amen to every promise. And all you have to do is have faith in Jesus. And we know that Jesus is the truth and all of his promises are the truth. So all we have to do is receive them. Amen. Okay, so he's touched 
with the filling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like we are, yet without sin, meaning he's holy and pure. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace. See, we, we, we can't put ourselves above God. We can't put ourselves above him and say, um, we don't need any grace anymore. I need grace. I, I make mistakes all the time. And I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for his sacrifice on the cross that he bled and died for me and that I have unmerited favor before Amen. him. And he makes a way, he's my high priest, and he makes a way to the Father. So so uh, now I receive his righteousness, and I am righteous before the Father. Not because of what I did, but because I have faith in what Jesus did. And I have faith in his righteousness, and I have faith in his promises. Okay? And... So we can boldly come into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. I need you, Jesus. I need you right now more than I've ever needed you ever in my life, Lord. I need you because you're going to make everything work out for me. Lord, when everything in the world is screaming that everything's going to just blow up, no, Lord, you're going to, you are the one who's going to keep it all together. Lord, you're going to, you're going to hold my hand and you're going to bless me. I'm going to be like Jacob. I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to be like Abraham. I'm going to be blessed. Okay. I'm going to be greater than John the Baptist in the kingdom. Why? Because the heaven, I'm going to take a hold of the kingdom of heaven and 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 use force how in action in faith okay let's uh yeah. let's go let's go to uh what is it uh the woman and the issue of blood okay so we remember the woman and the issue of blood. Okay, she was a woman that, how many years did 19, she suffer? 19 years, I think. Okay, 19 years, that's a long time. Spent a lot of money. She a spent of all dollars. of her money. She yeah. she wasted all of her money on physicians, and they doctors. didn't do anything for her. And the, all they did is take her money. Okay, so she used the world system to try and get a healing, and it, it did not work. Okay, she knew that Jesus was in town. Okay, and she found where Jesus was. But the thing about that is Jesus was, he was um, surrounded. He was surrounded by people, a mob Okay, a multitude of people, and they were pressing in on him. Yeah. In the Bible, it says they they thronged him. And I, I looked up that word, and it meant he was being pressed and squeezed by people. So of God of people. And so what did Jesus say? That the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Meaning people, people are coming in to get their blessing. People... They're pressing in. Just pressing in so, so that's what we have to do. We have to press into God she said, just in the little, spiritual realm. Yeah, just a little just a little touch of the hem of his garment, and, and I shall be, he, be healed. And and but Jesus knew it. So some virtue came out of Jesus. See, he didn't even he was that this was not too power. power be, yeah, it came it came right out of she went into him and touched him. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. This is where you go in and you touch Jesus and you get your miracle. Mm -hmm. That's what we're we're to press in till we receive it, okay, and obtain it. That's what faith is, and that's what taking the kingdom uh, with with suffering violence and the violent take it by force. 
Okay, and Jesus said that for a reason, because he wants us to press in. He wants us in the kingdom of heaven, which is within us, in the spiritual realm. He wants us to press in and receive the promises. And so, yeah. So we have a, a what's our song today? Great is the, the Lord. Great is the Lord. So we have a, a song coming up, and uh, we'll sing that song now, and uh, and then we'll finish up. Okay. God bless. In Psalms 48 1, it said, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness. Amen. <laughs> city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth, in a giant the side of the north, the city of the great King. The city of the great king. Rejoice in the Lord always. Can I say rejoice? Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Hallelujah! Let's rejoice in the Lord. So that was a wonderful song. Great is the Lord, and we hope you were blessed by that. And. Uh, so the conclusion of the message today is heaven suffers violence mm -hmm. and the violent take it by force. And the key is the least of these will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, what does that mean? That means that the, the kingdom of God is within you, okay? And God wants us to press towards the mark. Yeah. Where's the mark? The kingdom of heaven. Jesus has everything. Yeah. Jesus is everything to us. Okay, he wants us to press. When you go into prayer, Not to give up. don't be a mouse. Be a lion. Mm -hmm. He wants you to be like Jacob and wrestle with the angel. Yeah. I will not let you go until you bless me, Amen. Lord. You're going to bless me. You're, you're going to bless us. Yeah. I am your son and you're going to bless us. Yes. And and that's yes. what that's what Jesus Jesus is looking to the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay? And he's looking for action and he's looking for faith. Yeah. Okay? When you come to the Lord and you say, "Uh, I hope so. Maybe you're going to bless me." That's unbelief. He, you're not going to get anything. We get a hug. Okay, faith. and it, it's like the woman with the issue of blood. She she could have been she could have been stoned to death. Yeah. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's their, um, that's their. Yeah. Law, I mean, I think. It's because she was unclean. Unclean. Yeah. Okay. But she put her life on the line. Okay. She was taking a big action of yeah. faith to go and touch him. And what happened when she did that? <laughs> he knew it. God knew. God knows when you touch him. Yeah. See, that's another thing. Thank you know, Lord. when you when you get your healing, you're going to know it. And Thank God's going to know it too. Thank you, Jesus. So that's co the conclusion. Um, God wants us to be active in our faith. And he wants us to go after the kingdom of heaven and everything that's in the kingdom of heaven. What did he say? Put the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you all the things that you need in this world to survive god's going to provide all those things mm -hmm. but he wants you to be a spiritual creature okay a heavenly creature we actually are this this is not our home no so so that's that's my two cents thank you lord <laughs> thank you jesus Hallelujah. And uh, let's pray. We just want to encourage people and we're going to we're going to pray. We're going to lift you up and we're going to we're going to take and we're going to uh, suffer heaven violently with force. <laughs> OK, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord, that we just come to you right now yes. where you are Hallelujah. and we we take action in thank faith Jesus. and we receive. Receive all of the promises. We, we believe, believe you, you Lord. fully, Lord, that we you have miracles, Hallelujah. signs, Hallelujah. and wonders for your children, Lord, Jesus. that you have finances for your the children, Lord, Jesus. that you have Hallelujah. provision for your children, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's people that Hallelujah. need vehicles out there. We just in thank Jesus you that you're going to provide that. There's people who need their health healed, their body oh, healed. Hallelujah. And we receive that, Lord, that you heal us all the time, Lord, and you can heal us whenever you Jesus. want and Hallelujah. right now you can heal us in jesus name we yes. thank you lord we thank you for revelation for your ministers yes. lord that the word of god will come alive for them in jesus name we yes. thank you lord and we take hold of your revelation and your knowledge that you give out liberally you give out wisdom of god yes. we thank you lord that you're blessing all of the hearers and yes. all of the people you, who believe in their heart that jesus Bless you, you said name. yes and amen on all the promises god oh thank you hallelujah. jesus so just bless them lord and hallelujah. let them receive thank all you, that jesus. you have for them in jesus name amen amen hallelujah so what are we going to do now so <laughs> uh we will leave you with this word isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 come now and let us reason together Amen. Saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. <laughs> oh, awesome. Though awesome. they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Thank yeah, you, Jesus. White. Hallelujah. So come to Jesus and accept him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Tomorrow will be too late. Now is yes, today, the day of today salvation. salvation. <laughs> Amen. Be blessed. Everyone, and um, before we we end, well, let's greet some of our um, of our friends. Oh, oh, we got some birthdays. Yes. Oh boy! Happy birthday to Joshua Carnesi. I hope you were watching this. Happy birthday, Joshua. Happy birthday to Pastor Jay Radam. Hi, oh. Pastor Jay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. Many many more years to come. Oh yeah, yes, be okay. blessed. And happy birthday to Quindolin Suarez. Hi, hi, Quinn. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And to um, Lerma and Jerry Bungato. Hello. Oh, Jerry. And then God to bless. Jenna Carnesi Gonzaga. Jenna. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello, Jenna. And to my classmate in high school, Ini Mom Ini Tori Franca. How oh, are you, Mom? Wow. And to Faye. Um, forgot. And to my classmate also, Edith Ivan, uh, Ivanez Lynch. Okay. And to Hello out there. Um, Pastor Modesto, La, uh, ah, Modesto, Modesto Rosales. Modesto yeah. Rosales. God and bless. And to Pastor Rodel Bautista. Baptista? Bautista. Bautista. And to Honey Lynn Carnese. 
and ah, John Roy God bless. Suarez Canino and to Tisa Machete and to all the members of the Abundant Church. Oh, God Pastor bless Ray that church. Dahlia. And to yeah. all that watch God bless. and to Dahlia. all our subscribers, thank you very much. Thank you. And please subscribe us. Yes. You you grow the ministry when you subscribe. Uh, you, you help us out a lot. And we just want to see the subscriptions keep growing. In Jesus' name, we thank you. And do a thumbs up. And yes. we, we love to hear comments, and we'll comment back and uh, share any kind of insight you have or anything the Lord's told you. We, we love to hear hear from you. So mm -hmm. God bless everybody. God, God bless everyone. Yep. And we love you all. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>